John Lucas is a South African with a massive following in India. Thanks to his passion for bodybuilding, Michelle met up with a gentle giant and got chatting about the movies and muscles. Bodybuilding has experienced a massive boom in India over the past 20 years and John Lucas has made a huge impression there as the ambassador of a global fitness brand, winning fans with his personality as much as his impressive physique. His success has been hard earned with more than a decade of focused effort and absolute dedication. You start with the leg over there, Angel, that's it, kick it up nice and high, which immediately makes the glutes flex. You go down next to the side of the leg and you come up again, contract those glutes and down. Squeeze the glutes and down. And up. Awesome. Let's just jump up for me, Teresha. And you can lie down for me over here. On your back. Okay, so what I want you to do is just lift the one leg for me and you're going to raise your hips into the sky and squeeze that glute and your hamstrings nice and tight. And go down just before you hit the ground, go right back up again. And one. Okay, and we're going to add in another little exercise over here. And with both your feet down, now lift your hips and do the same thing. Okay. Okay, and awesome. <laughs> Jump up with me. Okay. When he's not guiding others on the path to fitness, John works hard on his own intense training routine. Often he continues seven days a week, only taking a rest day when he feels that his body needs it. Whether you're wanting to shake up your fitness regime or build some muscle, John Lucas is the perfect man to inspire you to do just that. Now it's not often that I get to train with an international athlete and personality until today that is. Wish me luck. Whoa, John. How are you doing, buddy? Hello, Michelle. How are you doing? Welcome to Mela. Thank you. John, I've got to ask you, were you born this way? Unfortunately not. It's taken a lot of hard work, discipline, and it's taken 15 years to look like this, Michelle. Okay, but John, come on. Give me some of the stats. I see the bulging biceps. My height is 194, or like 6'4 and a half. I'm currently about 135 kilos, and I'm about around about 5% body fat at the moment. Were you always pretty sporty growing up? I was always very, very sporty, yes, but uh, concentrated on sports like tennis and uh, soccer and cricket and swimming. At the end of the day, I just made the shift and I wanted to become a bodybuilder. Everybody thought I was absolutely crazy, seeing as I probably weighed about 82 kilos. Little skinny uh, beanstalk, you know. So I got a couple of laughs and whatever, but uh, it's worked out. You're now an international athlete and personality. How did you get your break into India? I was actually just sitting at a social function and uh, guys came in and they were interested in who I was or whatever. And it ended up being an Indian company who offered me a, a good deal. And a week later, I was in Mumbai. And you are a firm believer in yoga. Just because uh, you're a big guy and you hold a lot of, mu lot of muscle doesn't mean you need to be muscle bound. You can stretch just like everybody else and you can also move pretty fast just like everybody else. It's also it's still fast twitch muscle, which is explosive muscle, um, which gives you fast movements. And in terms of yoga, it will help with recovery. It will help your recovery from training. It's also a good way to warm up, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to warm up a little bit of yoga. Well, you're going to put me through my paces. Let's go. Let's. John's interest in bodybuilding was inspired by Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And his own path has involved trial and error. Michelle, we're going to start with something called a salutation to the sun. It's a nice full body warm up. You're going to stretch nice and high for me there, Michelle. Okay. And lean back and you're going to go down and stretch down to your toes. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Yep. Then put your hands down into the running position. Get your head up and both legs back. Okay, then down into a push up. Keep your buttocks off the ground and big stretch. And you go back into the cat stretch, like that. And then up into the running position again. Head up and onto your toes. And right up. Beautiful. Now this is ideally how you'd start a session before. Yeah, this is a nice fun way to, to warm your body up and get ready to train. I want to ask you, you know you've traveled to India quite a few times now. What has the response been like from all your fans? The enthusiasm of the people was unbelievable. They're just willing to take in any little bit, uh, tidbit of um, hints that you got and tips that you got for them. Now I've read somewhere, and correct me if I'm wrong, but that you'd love to play a role in a Bollywood movie. Yeah, I was lucky enough to actually get taken for dinner there by a Bollywood agent. 
So my name is sort of out there, I think. John, what would your ideal role be? I would like to experiment a little bit more and, and sort of uh, show a softer side to, to a big guy. To, to a big giant and maybe something that involves maybe a little bit of an emotional role. I'm, I'm starting to cool down, so I think maybe we should start yeah, let's warming. get you sweating. Yeah, okay, let's go. John has now made two trips to India and judging by the publicity images, he's got all the makings of a great Bollywood hero or villain, although he'd probably favoured the former. All I want you to do, Michelle, is grab it uh, shoulder width apart and I want you to put that thumb over, please. Okay. Uh, slightly cock the wrist backwards and we want to curl the weight. Keeping those elbows nice and tight, Good stuff, Michelle. Did I work hard enough for a drink? Sure, let's go get you a shake. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. John, I read somewhere about the 70-30 rule. It's 70% what you eat and 30% how much you train. Is that true? Doesn't matter how hard you train, if you're not getting the nutrition in and you're not building that muscle up while breaking it down, you're not going to get the results. There are many misconceptions about the industry. What is the one that you'd like to dispel? It's a very common question that I get. I get females coming to me and going, oh, you know, I want to train and I want to get in shape and I want to get lean, but I don't want to look like you. Yeah. The trick to having a great physique is all about carrying muscle. If you carry muscle, your metabolism is fast. If you lose muscle, your metabolism slows down with it. So if a female trains weights combined with cardio and a good nutrition plan, she will get much better results. John, you've achieved so much. What is the biggest highlight for you thus far? I've got to say India. India was my highlight. It was incredible and I can't wait to go back. What advice do you have for all those who are just starting out in the industry? If you are too impatient, you are going to be disappointed. You're going to set goals that are unrealistic. 15 years of training, 15 years of eating correctly and of getting enough rest and of not partying and not drinking and so on and so forth. It's exactly what you need. You need a lifestyle and you need to, to combine it all together. John, thank you so much for your time. It's been such a privilege and all the best, especially for that Bollywood movie role. I really appreciate you featuring me. Thank you. Given Bollywood's obsession with the six-pack, John's movie ambitions don't seem far-fetched at all. All he needs is some dance training, but the basic moves are all there.